all right so in this video we're going to be taking a look at some crashes that um took place right here in jamaica and how we could have avoided them and um who was wrong who was right and i hope we we can all learn from this video on how to jive properly and how to communicate properly on the road please remember to subscribe to the channel so you can get more video like this like the video share it all right so you can see exactly what took place there this white car that is coming from the off road is trying to go on the major tariff here and there came a toyota um, suv and run straight into the front then diverted over into another vehicle and crash now this road is um in Montego Bay and it's the road that leads to the summit police station that can connect you to that road that take you to the airport. I've driven on that road before. Very dangerous road right here. Because this road right here is always busy. So you have to always look. So we're gonna play the video clip by clip and show exactly what is taking place. So here you see him trying to get on the main thoroughfare. Right, he's looking and at the same time he's turning. Now, what he's doing right here, he's already um kind of in the wrong because he's trying to beat the traffic. He's looking down the road, trying to beat the traffic that is coming up and not paying attention to what's taking place on the right hand side. So let's play the video again. And there we see he's still pushing out. I guess he has he he's still not looking up the road based on what I'm seeing. So he's coming out and now he's going to try his focus is still down the road right here on his left hand side. I know he's going to try and beat the traffic. Still not looking to the right. Because remember now, when he just started to come out, he already looked to the right. But he hasn't looked back to the right hand side to see if there is anything else coming down before he starts to push out. He's trying to beat the traffic and that's the wrong thing to do right there. So there you go. And like I say, he's still looking down the road. There's an oncoming vehicle right there. Still trying to beat that traffic. And um, that, like I said, is what he has done wrong. So what he should have done is once he looked up the road and there was no traffic coming, he should have just barely come out in the middle of the road like that and then block the oncoming traffic. And in that way now, this other driver that is coming up would have stopped and then let him go through. But in this case, that's not what happened in this case. He's just trying to beat the traffic. He's just trying to drive out on the road, beat the traffic and on his way. And it cannot work like that. Like I said, it's a very busy thoroughfare. So you cannot do it like that. You have to wait until a driver give a bly and then you go out. Or like I say, you have to kind of block the road right here. And so the vehicle that is coming up here will realize that you are in the road way before you know they came on the scene so they would have to stop and let you eventually get out now see right there that's when he's about now to look around now to head up the road because this car has slowed down to let him through and he's ready now to look up the road but as soon as he make the turn and he's going to put his focus up the road then here comes the RAV4 and you have a head-on collision. Now, it's a lack of communication. Um, also, a lack, the driver is not 
looking is not paying attention you have to look so the key here is to look 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 i don't care how many times you look you have to look look and look again before you move so that is what he did wrong he didn't look he only look one side but he also need to look up the road as many times as possible before you move out. If it's too busy, as soon as you realize that there's nothing coming up the road, you should have to drive out and just block the road right there. And then eventually, if anything was coming, they would realize that he has blocked the road and then they would have let him through. But no, he's trying to beat the traffic and he's only looking one way. And then when he think that, or he thought that he could get out. And that's the time now. He made the turn. And then he's going to try to look up the road. But then it's too late. Also, the RAV4 man. Because it's a little stretch of road right there. You know? So the RAV4 man. Anytime I'm coming right on that stretch. And I see a vehicle coming out. Or a vehicle right here. And it looks like they want to get out. Normally what I do, I blow my hand. And let them know. Say, hey, I'm coming. You know? So don't show out. So I blow my hand and I think the RAV4 man, that's what he should have done as well. He should have blew his hand, blew his hand and let the, the driver realize that he's coming, he's coming. And so he, he shouldn't have pushed out. But this driver here is in the wrong, no matter how him take it. He's in the wrong because clearly I can see he's not looking up the road. He's trying to beat the traffic and that's a wrong thing he did right there. So tell me what you think in the comment section. Um, and remember to subscribe to the channel so you can get more video like this as well. So let's play the rest of the video and see what happened. So right there, they RAV4 clip him and then he um, diverted over into the bank corner and him hit that other white car that was coming up but um, you can see clearly that this white vehicle here is completely and um, hopefully no one got hurt in this accident because that is more important than anything else you know preservation of life you know and i hope you learn from this so tell me what you learned from this video remember to like it share it and also leave a comment so in the next video right um we're going to play the video and then we're going to analyze it and break it down so let's play the video all right so in this video we can see um this car here trying to back out reverse out and then this man was also trying to get out of the parking lot you know and um we can see clearly what took place right there so let's break down the video and um so we can get a better understanding of what's really taking place. Now, in the video, you can see both drivers are trying to leave the parking lot at the same time. One is behind, one is in front right here. So this guy starts to reverse over here. And then this guy is coming, trying to get out as well. So you see both of them, one is backing out, one is trying to reverse. You know, so clearly they are not, they are both not looking. This guy is reversing right here. He's definitely not looking. You know, he's not looking left, right, center. Whenever they are reversing, you have to look to the left, you have to look to the right, and you have to look in the rear view mirrors. 
you'll just have to keep looking you have to keep rotating your head to see if there is anything or anyone coming because reversing is not an easy thing you know and this driver here that is coming out you're gonna see exactly what happened all right so there he realized that the guy was backing out you know and you can clearly see that the guy is still not looking is is still reversing still not looking guy if he was looking then you'd realize that there's a vehicle behind him and um see in a case like this now that is why it's very important for you to have reverse cameras and reverse sensors because if he had reverse sensors on then it would have picked up and then you would have realized that there's something behind them anyway let me move on to the video all right so clearly you can see that the range rover he realized that the man was backing out and he, he made immediately stop his vehicle so he stopped but even though he stopped he is not communicating with the driver because he should have realized that the driver is still backing out and doesn't realize that he is stop behind him Right, so he's still backing out just to see me. So what he should have done, he should have toot his hand. But if it was me, I would be on my hand. I would just squeeze in that hand. You understand? So the other driver would realize that, hey, I'm behind you. So that is what he had done wrong. He never squeezed his hand. He could have put the vehicle in reverse if he realized that the driver here I was still backing up and he didn't saw him so he could have put it in reverse and see how best he could have get out of his way so let's play the video still backing up it looked to me like the range man put his vehicle in reverse but he didn't reverse because see the vehicle kind of jump back way but at this point he should have been blowing his arm as well <laughs> see if you understand so it's a lack of communication right there and also this driver right here he's not looking so in the first video you know i can't stress more about looking you have to look 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 that is very important you always have to be looking right so those are the two errors right there it's a lack of communication and a lack of communication on the part of this driver and this driver here is definitely not looking bam and that is what happened but the the range man is sitting in his vehicle watching the man reversing in his vehicle he's not blowing his hand he's not doing anything he's not trying to get out of the way he just sits there and the man reverse straight into his vehicle so tell me what you think about the video you know um remember to subscribe to the channel if you like these videos and um leave a comment in the comment section what would you have done if you were the range man um would you have blow your hand would you have reverse i mean what would you have done so tell us in the comment section hopefully it's not a serious accident it look like it's just a minor damage so this um driver here is definitely in the wrong and um i hope they had it sorted out all right there you go so you see exactly what took place so let's break down the video and we're gonna tell you who and who is wrong all right so we see a taxi come right here that's a taxi right there and he's letting off a passenger if you notice it's a two-way traffic right here very busy tariff here both vehicles are going in the opposite direction right there now the taxi man let out the passenger right there and He's about to continue his journey. 
Right, so let's play the video and see. All right, so he is trying to get into the line. This car here decided that, hey, I'm going to let you in. So he stopped this car, moves forward, and then the pro box man now is trying to go between both cars. So let's play the video. But no, hold on. He's not trying to get in line. What he's trying to do, it look like he's trying to turn and to go back up the road, which first and foremost, this is illegal. So what he's doing right here, he's already in the wrong. You cannot make a U-turn here. This definitely is wrong. So the, the pro box man right here is already wrong. All right, so let's play the video. Right. So he's trying to make a turn to go back up the road. No, there's a vehicle that have overtake the line of traffic. And this vehicle right here, this is definitely wrong as well. So he's in the wrong. Both of them are wrong right here. You know, there's no doubt about that. You cannot break the line of vehicle and overtake this whole special vehicle. It's a two-way road. You cannot do that. There's nothing here that says that you can overtake right there so let's play the video and um clearly you can see that the pro box man is not expecting anything to be coming in this direction so his focus is in this direction right here because like i say he's not expecting anything so there's no way he's going to be looking up the road so definitely like i said both of them is wrong and um when you're driving, you have to be looking both sides. If you, it doesn't matter. You just have to be looking, right? So if you even you're not expecting a vehicle to come from that direction, you still have to be looking in that direction because there's a lot of people on the road who are just crazy, you know. So let's play the video, and there you see he made a U-turn. This vehicle is still coming down. I guess no he realizes because he has gotten past this vehicle and he has gotten out into the middle of the road so his focus is not down here again his focus is here but i guess when he look up the road then he realized that there's a vehicle coming right here and also this guy right here realizes now that hey there's a vehicle coming across the road right there which there's no way he could have known because the pro box was hidden right in front of this vehicle. So let's play the video. And then there you go. Definitely recipe for a disaster. Both drivers definitely wrong right there. There's no if nor but nor supposed. This driver is wrong. This driver is wrong. Too wrong can't make a right. And then once you have two wrong, the rest of it is just pure, pure disaster. Bam. And I don't know how they're going to work out that one. Um, because both of them are wrong. You know, so I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comment section. I guess this guy is very happy that he got out of the car <laughs> and walk away. Tell me what you think about the, um, the video. And um, please remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this. We have a lot more videos like this coming up. So please remember to subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this. Thanks for watching. And as usual, I'll see you in the next video.